guys. So you see in the title how to get unstuck. So stuck was a very familiar place with me. I opened my brick and mortar service based business, got married and had a baby all in a three year time frame. And then on top of that, my marriage, there was trouble in paradise. My marriage was dysfunctional. So I was frustrated, overwhelmed, and I just had to figure out how to get unstuck. So one of the things that normally happens as we add things onto our life, we don't make room for them. We don't do an assessment of, you know, what is it that we're doing now and how are we going to add this new thing to our life? So I want to talk to you today briefly about how to get unstuck. Now, being stuck is not something unusual for a, a female entrepreneur. You know, it kind of comes with business. And what it actually is, is when it's time for us to go to the next level, time for us to do what I call a destiny by design assessment, where we just kind of take a look at everything that's going on. So oftentimes as business owners, you know, our business becomes our main thing. But guys, sometimes when we put all of our time, energy, money, and resources in one area of our life, things kind of get out of alignment. So I'm going to share with you today a practice I teach inside my 3D Success Academy with my students, and it's all about alignment. Now, if this is your first time here, be sure to hit like on the page or to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Talk to me. Let me know what your stuck place is. And if you happen to begin doing the assignment, let me know how that works for you as well. So I'm going to do the, let me see if I can find my marker here. I'm going to do what's called the alignment circle. You probably can't really see me, but you can hear me. I think you can see a little bit of me now. But we're going to do some hand motions. You know it's me. You know it's my hands over here, okay? So the circle of alignment, I've already made a circle, and I normally have it printed out, so never mind my handwriting here. But it's broken down into six elements. I'm only going to do two of them for today, but this is the zero space. So we're starting from right here. So one of the elements would be family and relationships. And we're going to pick career and finances. Now inside the academy, we go over every single element because I believe that our entire life, guys, runs our business. They intertwine. So what we do here is we have probably nine lines, three, six, seven, eight, say nine. And what you do is you rate yourself. So this is something that you're going to do. You're going to rate yourself and see where do you feel you are in the area of family and relationships from zero to 10. And then if you say you're maybe a seven, you place that here and you do the same for career and finances. And so whenever you're setting out um, to figure out like where is that stuck place for me? It's so good just to look at different areas of your life to see like what's off. Is it your spirituality? You know, if, is it your finances? Because this lets you know where you need to exert more of your energy. You know, if you're weaker in one area, then that would need to be your focus. Whenever we think about stuck, there has to be a space of awareness of why you're stuck. And what happens oftentimes is many people just keep going without figuring out why. One of the tools that I created during my stuck time is called the RRF factor. And in that factor, we are reflecting to see like, what is it that's causing me to get stuck? Now, most people already knew the R part of the factor before I even created the tool because most people stay in reflection. And what happens is we're reflecting on something so long before we actually do what I call reposition and we make a new move. So if you're feeling stuck, I suggest that you go through and break things down so that you can look at different areas of your life to see what is actually off, right? One of the things that I know for certain is when um, our spirituality, like how we're feeling it internally, our emotions, 
those things are off. It impacts everything we do in our business. So for instance, before I came on to do this video, I had to turn on some hype music, right? We had had snow in our area. I've been in the house all day long. My daughter and I have been cooking good eats. And I just needed something to, you know, kind of move me emotionally so that I could come on in great spirits with you all. And so one of the things that's so important is that you really assess, like, what's really going on in my life as it relates to family and relationships. Guys, if you come on with me, or if this is not your first time, you have heard me talk about the impact that relationships have on your life. It's so important that as we're making destiny decisions, as we're designing our destiny, that we also think about the relationships that we are including, allowing, and being connected to because it's so, so powerful, guys. I know for me, life will tell me when I'm out of alignment with any of the, the six areas that I share with my clients because um, if it's something with my daughter, you know, it's just my alignment telling me, hey, something is off. You need to put some more attention here. Um, and the same for any other area in our life. So if you're feeling stuck on today, just look at your life in different segments and really assess and identify which area of your life is off because that is probably the thing that's actually keeping you stuck. Listen, our thoughts are what lead to our actions. So when things are off in other areas, it kind of controls and consumes our thinking and makes it difficult for us to do the things that are necessary for us to get to the next level. Don't keep going and not knowing like, why am I stuck? Sit down, do some reflection and find out what area of your life is causing you to be out of alignment. Um, the alignment circle is something that I teach. We go through the process inside 3D Success Academy, which is a, an academy that I created for women in business, helping them grow their business and their life. Listen, guys, when we're out of, out of alignment, when one area is off, it does impact other areas. What is that area that you feel in this season is off for you? Once you identify the area, that's when you begin to put your energy, your time, your efforts, your resources, your money, if you have to, into getting that back into alignment. Now, there's some more to this alignment circle that I teach inside the course that helps people really identify it. So by the time we finish, they'll be able to see just from the graph, finishing the chart, what areas are off and what areas they need to put their focus on in a specific season. So if you're feeling stuck, look at other areas of your life. Don't look at your life as this one part. Break it down into segments and identify where is that destiny destroyer happening in your life? What is that thing that's causing you to feel stuck or feel out of alignment? Listen, one of the things I say is if we don't own it, we can never fix it, right? And so a lot of times before we can ever own anything, we have to be aware. Awareness is the first step to transformation for your life and your business, your clarity.